you've been to plenty of weddings I've before, been in right? eight. And what? probably Listen. been to about 15, because I have a lot of friends. Well, it's only right that I have them be a part of this special day. Mendicius and I have definitely known each other for a very long time. And I won't say that we were together the whole time we've known each other. And those times we were broken up because there were about four or five breakups. Those were the people whose shoulders I cried on, who said, oh no, girl, we going to his house. Girl, I seen him up the block. I seen him at that party. Oh yeah, he was there with mm. So that was the crew. So they have to be a part of this day because they were there for every step of everything. I don't know how much I should go into. But funny story, there was another guy that Yandy used to date a long time ago that all of her friends loved. We loved him, we thought he was great, whatever. Uh, whatever happened to that guy you used to date? Who really cares, boo, that was the past. She went away with um, Puff and Jim on a private jet somewhere to Miami. And he was with one of them. I'm not sure who, but he was with one of them. And she was like, oh my God, I just fell in love. And I'd be like, Yandy, like what? What are you thinking? What are you doing? What's happening? She wouldn't tell me his name at first. She was like, I don't want to hear any bad stories. She would have on a pair of sneakers. And if she knew me and DC was coming to pick her up, <laughs> she would throw on her shoes and be like, no, he can't see me like this. Back in those days, everything was bad. Yeah, I wore sweats and a t-shirt. She had that afro and that missing too, but damn, she's sexy. That ass is fat. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, you know, I, I, I love you before the makeup and the, and, the, and the hair started to get straight. She was just like, I'm gonna marry him. I'm gonna have kids, I'm gonna marry him, I'm gonna be with him forever, and she's gonna marry. And I remember thinking, this is what she wanted. We didn't see it, but she saw it. And now we're all seeing exactly what she saw in him from the very beginning. I'm getting married! Oh my God! Can you believe it? I can't. There's just a couple things. I wanted to pull this together to just go over a few things that are like very important that we need to get done before it's too late. And too late is real soon. Is Yendi a bridezilla? She definitely has her moments. See, her life is different. She, she does this. So right. she has someone on deck all day to watch her kids and to do whatever she's doing. I had a hard time getting here today. I think because it's being televised. So I think that makes it even worse. It's aggravating, very. <laughs> it is, it's very aggravating. In what way? Money. But you guys knew that you were gonna be That's a part of my bridal party. Yeah. Why haven't you been saving? I've been talking about this wedding only what? for eight years. I don't want a hot mess wedding. My friends are a bunch of emotional creatures. When I say they was going at it, like they was getting married, they all up in my mix and don't know nothing right. They like, oh the wedding, oh the gowns. Oh, oh, oh. But it that's is, real it, talk, though. This is real life. Like, okay, but everything. People got kids and bills. I'm not on TV. And this is very short notice. I just don't get it. I don't understand. Monetarily, time-wise, with this wedding, yes, we're filming this, but the filming is not going to change the integrity of my wedding. The people that I care about, they will be there. They will be right. walking down the aisle, period, point blank. I just want to get this over with, say my vows. I do, you do, we do, and it's over. So I was able to get us $10,000 dresses knocked down to $1,500. That's a good price, but that's still a lot. But they're $10,000 dresses. I know, dresses. but it's still a lot. But listen, when you're in a wedding, you expect to maybe pay for your dress, you expect to um, come out your pocket. You it's just that we have, but not a fifteen hundred dollar dress. Right. And then you expect to have a bachelor bachelorette party, but or, not in Miami. But not in Miami. You don't know. And that, that, that. I, I get it. I understand that a lot of them are single moms. I understand that they're doing it on their own. So I feel really bad sometimes that this stress is on them. Even as far as the money, I know that it's expensive. I mean, but they have to be there at everything with the dress on. I'm my mom's first child to ever get married, so I think these ladies need to take a time out. Time out, time out. Time me. out, wait, wait. Say your problem. You all think right. she should stay right, 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 right,